the period of oscillation of a simple pendulum of length l suspended from the roof of a vehicle which moves without friction down on inclined plane of inclination alpha dekho suppose this is a inclined plane and it is given to us that the angle of inclination is alpha this is a vehicle like the situation is this which moves down without friction like this means friction this is a smooth surface now first of all we will see how many forces are acting on this bob or pendulum situation is like this one thing is very much clear to all of you the one force that is acting the mg in the vertical downward direction another force which is acting on this bob if we see the acceleration acting on this system or trolley or the vehicle that is given by g sin alpha in the downward direction and we all know very well whenever any object in the accelerating frame always the pseudo force will act it means the acceleration acting on this bob will be g sin alpha towards this direction i hope it is clear to all of you now what is the angle between these two forces if i say this is the pseudo forces mg sin alpha now what is the angle between these two forces if this angle is alpha i think we can easily say this angle is given by 90 plus alpha ye baat to aapko samajh mein aayi gayi hoga now if we see the expression for the time period of the simple pendulum we know time period is given by 2 pi root l upon g effective now what is the effective acceleration acting on this bob we can say one acceleration is acting in this downward direction that is the small g another acceleration is acting in this direction that is the g sin alpha and angle between this small g and g sin alpha is given you 90 plus alpha now if there are two forces p and q acting at angle, angle theta resultant is given by we all know very well r equal to root p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos alpha that we know very well so apply here the same identity we can write here root g square plus g square sin square alpha plus 2 g into g sin alpha into cos 90 plus alpha we are applying the formula root p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos alpha ab hum isko solve kar lete hain to what we will write g square here also g square this is g square it means g can be taken common so we take g common and what is inside root 1 plus sin square alpha plus 2 sin alpha so can you tell me what is the value of the cos 90 plus alpha this will be minus sin alpha so finally what we are getting root 1 plus sin square alpha Minus two sine square alpha. It is means minus sine square alpha. One minus sine square alpha is cos square alpha. Square root of cos square alpha is cos alpha. It means effective gravity is g cos alpha. So we put here the final answer is two pi root l upon effective gravity is g cos alpha. So when we see the option, option A is the correct answer.